We're still a couple of months away from pecan harvest, and we're out here at the Cimarron Valley Research Station with our extension entomologist and department head of entomology and plant pathology, Phil Mulder. And Phil, how's the pecan crop looking throughout the state? Well, it looks fair, Curtis. Uh, actually, the the yield is pretty good for most of the part of the northeastern portion of the state and this portion of the state as well. But here at the Cimarron Valley Research Station, it's doing really well. Uh, we're pleased with the return bloom and the return fruit, fruit set that we've seen so far this year. So not so, a problem. So with the, uh, the spots in the, throughout the state that have seen a lot of rain, there's been some uh, that's been positive and also some negative sides with that with uh, in regards to some insects. Uh, yes. And for the most part, we've had really good results with uh, in terms of kernel, kernel fill and kernel production. The rains can produce some problems with weevils. Uh, pecan weevil is our number one pest as far as pecans are concerned. And when we have heavy rains in that period of August to July, even as early as July, but August to through even October, uh, we can have experienced problems with uh, pecan weevil. Uh, this year it occurred right on schedule and it occurred at a time when we were really getting out of that water stage and going into the doe, the doe stage, which is perfect for weevil oviposition or egg laying. So talk a little bit about how the weevils actually impact the crop. Are they feeding on the pecans or is it something with the bark? How does that work? Okay, so when they emerge from the ground as adults, they do get up in the tree. They can feed on about a quarter of a nut every day. So you'd get one nut affected over a four day period. So the amount of feeding is minimal. If you've got a decent crop, we don't really worry too much about feeding damage. The main damage or the primary damage comes from the oviposition, the egg laying activity of the females. And during her lifetime, she can lay anywhere from 50 to maybe 75 eggs. If you, if you do the math, you know, obviously she can affect several pecans and it's not like there's one or two out there. There's literally thousands out there in an orchard this size. Uh, if, you've, if you have a dry situation where it may be a little droughty in some sense, uh, you can experience aphid populations. A lot of the weevil insecticides, most of these chemistries will cause aphid flare-ups. And so that first application of a weevil insecticide can cause you to get into some problems with aphids. That was going to be my next question as management. So what, what would you recommend to the producers out there uh, for managing both, you know, both aphids and weevils? Well, and what we really tell them is pay attention to the maturity of the pecan. Once it's into that doe stage, and that's when the weevils are really going to be active in terms of laying those eggs in those pecans. So make a treatment at that time. I mean, that's, that's almost not based on a threshold, but it's accurate enough in a heavy rain period that we know it's going to control the, the first emergence of weevil. The second emergence, uh, that second application should be based upon trapping. So if you're trapping adequately and if your numbers tell you that, you know, it's time to treat again, you're probably gonna have to make a second application. In some cases, you may make as many as four applications. And unfortunately with these little guys, that they, they their first stages are so deep into the ground that there's not any like, you know, uh, you can't really get on the, offens the offensive going forward for the next growing season to take to manage the problem. No, and there's a couple of reasons why you can't take that approach. One, they're six to 12 inches below the surface. And, and two, they are, when they go down into the soil and reach the point where they want to spend the rest of their two years in the soil, they'll make a tough earthen cell. So they've really got their own really good defenses. All right, thanks, Phil. If you would like some more information about pecan weevils, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.